So I wanted to give the Paris Olympics 2024 just a few final thoughts. They did a splendid, splendid job. Being in the city of love, it was a perfect time, it was a perfect place. It was superb execution. The fellow who, I think he handled really the staging and choreography of many of the big moments, a fellow named Tavis Jolly, but he said, Humanity is beautiful when it comes together. And, and it was beautiful um, and important. In America, pay attention, messages were being sent to us as the last real bastion and powerful nation for human rights and liberties. And we're divided, and they, they, would, they were trying to say, stay away from Trump, he sucks. Peace, love, imagine. But for the, the pollution in the Seine, and uh, it was magnificent um, and charming. Um, I'm going to move to the close, and then I'm going to talk USA basketball one more time. And that's the way I'm going to handle the Olympics. I'll do it under the covers. It is so nice to have comfortable feet. See how the canopy just expands? Just. So what do I want to talk about? I want to talk about Tom Cruise. So let me first say, I guess, that the only knock on Paris is, you know, uh, was the pollution and descent uh, for the swimming competitions, and it was magnificent. And sure, I'm not a big Scientology guy. That's not my thing. It'll never be. Tom Cruise was unbelievable. Anyone, all you social media nuts who, oh, we knew, and this is Tom. It was unbelievable what Tom Cruise did. He did live a whole Mission Impossible skit. Um, it apparently was based on when Conan had first moved his show from New York to California and you followed his travels. That, that in a funny way, was the inspiration. But Tom Cruise was magnificent. Oh my God, rappelling from the roof. Right down, flawless, ja, ja, detaching, grabbing the flag, meeting Simone Biles and the mayor of, of L.A. and getting on that giant motorbike with the flag and going. I mean, and, and the, the, the pre-shot scenes of jumping from the plane in the Hollywood Hills, the high, it was just great stuff. And, and Tom Cruise saved Hollywood during the pandemic. Maverick and uh, Mission Impossible. It brought people to the theaters, to the big screen. Good for you, Tom. It was unbelievable. I, it was unbelievable. I was thinking about it. He, there, think of what he just did, what I just said. And I, I wonder at two o'clock in the morning whether I'm gonna make it perfectly to pee. Okay? It's incredible, the guy. Just awesome. It was, and it was a great close and a great transition to Hollywood. All right, I'm going to give one more thing on uh, USA Basketball because, um, oh, did I get rid of my USA Basketball? I might have gotten rid of my USA Basketball notes, unfortunately. But I'll, I'll, I'll just do it as best as I can. What we saw with USA Basketball was absolutely incredible. The world has caught up. Um, we had a, a, just a phenomenal team, but but for the phenomenal team, uh, we, we don't win the Olympics. But let me make it very, very clear. 
absent LeBron, Steph, KD, Joel Embiid, and I'm going to talk about Joel in a second, and Devin Booker, we don't win. Yes, other guys are so important, and they had big games, and Ant-Man had big, a big game, and Bam had a big game, and, and AD had some wonderful play. But I mean, the bottom line, and it was a team, and great defensive efforts and contributions all over the team. But I'm going to start with Joel Embiid because he's been maligned. We don't beat Serbia without Joel, and we lose to France if Joel was playing for France. Steve Kerr did an amazing, phenomenal job coaching. The one thing I will say that was interesting is when you think about the teams, and I'm going since the Spurs, but really the Golden State for years, Steve Kerr has coached a team with phenomenal out of its mind shooting. Steph, Clay, I mean, they even had KD. I mean, so where I'm going with this is the schemas and, and the way you play the game is a little bit different when you're, you're going small ball and fast with crazy three-point shooting. And why am I saying this? Because he's not coached that dominant big man like Joel Embiid. And so he did not build the team per se around Joel. But, but for Joel, we would never have won the Olympics. And then one final plug. One, what Steph Curry did in the last two games was phenomenal. I spoke about his effort in Serbia. In some ways, he was even more spectacular because it was like the fireworks show at the very end. When the, it, what he did in the last, whatever, two minutes and 30 seconds with those four three-point shots and with the last one falling back and shooting like... For us old timers like Jerry Lucas, whew, and and swishing, and uh, Noah Eagle with the call of a golden dagger. That's the, that was a great call, Noah. Great call. Um, great Olympics. L. A. is going to do it its way, and there's going to be all kinds of star power. But boy, the charm and the togetherness and the messages, it was beautiful. And the world hopefully took notice. And America, hopefully you took notice. Sports is so important in uniting, not dividing. This is Hal Miz, thumbs up for feet up.